uh, uh, Gagandeep Kangji, I just wanted to ask you, in the last two years, what is the most important thing that we've learned about, you know, better protection from disease or a better protection for potential future pandemics? Because this is not the end of this pandemic and a lot of people are saying it's going to be almost perpetual. So how can we prepare ourselves uh, to keep away from it? I think there are two things that we can do that really matter. The first is to build up surveillance systems that actually share data across the world. We don't have that at the moment. Um, it's something that WHO has been calling for for a while, but countries have a huge reluctance to share data. And this is not limited to genomic data. It's data on the number of cases, the number of severe cases, hospitalizations, death. In India, of course, we have a problem doing that within the country as well as outside. The second part is to be prepared for pandemics by making vaccines. There is a huge initiative right now to try and predict which are all the viruses and the next pandemic will be a virus unless it is an act of bioterrorism. Can we identify the 20, 25 families from which these viruses will come? And can we make vaccines ahead of time so that when the pandemic arrives, we can roll out these vaccines much quicker than we've done before? One of the initiatives that uh, I'm involved with, with the group, is to see if we can make a vaccine in 100 days instead of the 11 months that it took us last year. And with everything that science and technology has done in the past year, I think it's actually feasible. We just have to get everybody connected, talking to each other, sharing data and sharing the science.